If you were horrified by the election results of Super Tuesday, or if you're Raven Simone, you've probably already let everyone know by now that you are most definitely moving to Canada if the person you don't like is elected as the next president. In fact, by the end of Super Tuesday, after a sweeping victory by Donald Trump in seven states, the Google search term, how to move to Canada, increased by 1,500%. So if you're a Clinton supporter or a Trump supporter, or you're just Marco Rubio, there's a few ways you can make your move to Canada. And just FYI, you can only stay in Canada for about six months with just a passport. So you'll probably want to apply for a permanent residency instead of just driving across the border and hoping for the best. Permanent residents can live in Canada, but can't vote or obtain a Canadian passport. You can apply to work in Canada under one of the many worker programs the country offers, including the Federal Skilled Worker Program and the Federal Skilled Trades Program. Some requirements include at least one year full-time experience in a qualifying occupation, as well as a passing score in an eligibility test. You can also be nominated by a Canadian province or territory through the Provincial Nominee Program. So Justin Trudeau, if you're watching, Hit me up, just call me. Lastly, you can nab yourself a coveted Canadian visa if you have family members that are Canadian residents under the Family Class Sponsorship Program. Likewise, you can gain residency under this program if you marry a Canadian, which is why I've decided to get hitched to this lovely lady. Oh, hey, <laughs> lover. Me and a couple of hosers were thinking about Grabbing a 2-4 and some poutine and heading to the Hobbs game? You coming, lover? Uh, uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna stay here in America. Well, enjoy your crappy hot dogs and your President Trump and your crumbling empire and your, and your unaffordable health care system. I don't need you anymore. I'll always remember you as the one that got away, Emma. I love you, Canada. <laughs> I'll see you soon.